Hey everybody, welcome back again to the AD&D 2nd Edition channel. I've got some toys here that I thought would work great for Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, just a matter of basically basing them, uh, doing a paint job on them. But I thought you might want to keep an eye out for these. I don't know if you're going to have these in your area, but still like, keep an eye out for something similar. That's what we're looking at here. So, uh, first thing, this came from a Dollarama, and that is... A pack of 60 little spiders now uh, these are kind of tiny so not super menacing I don't think but a whole swarm of these would be really cool so I was thinking basically I could take these and um, you know pile them up and I can't really show that for you right now but you can see they're kind of piled already as it is but basically just take like a, a few of them and kind of put them on a base and obviously trim them up and clean up you can see there's like a little bit of flashing still on that one but these are pretty cool nonetheless, like if you take a look at them, they're kind of detailed enough and obviously I'd have to paint them up or and something like that, but uh, still cool nonetheless and for $1.25 I got 60 of these so I could make a few like swarms basically of spiders which I think would be pretty cool uh, for Dungeons and Dragons. That being said, I also stopped off at another store, which I don't know if you're going to have this in the area. I don't even know if this is a chain or what, because I've never seen another one. And they just opened up like right by my house, and it's called a Dollar Power. I don't know if it's a chain or what, but uh, they have some interesting toys in there anyways. These ones are called Mayo Feng uh, Reptiles. So I thought it was kind of neat. It's basically like a bag of snakes. I'll show you that there. And if you check it out... They're pretty cool. I mean, they're not too bad. They're like giant sized snakes, so you'd probably have to figure out a way of, uh, you know, twisting them or coiling them. Um, but not totally undoable. Like, they are kind of like bendy and everything, so pretty nice. Unfortunately, on the bottom, you know, you couldn't really do like a standing up snake. Uh, just because on the bottom of a lot of them, there's this weird kind of way they did it. But again, you could probably fill that in, you know, with something and make it look pretty cool. Um, nonetheless that being said there are some of them that have like different heads and everything so there's a Cobra style of one although a Cobra I don't think is as long as that maybe they are I'm not a snake expert uh, but again this one here on the other hand does not have all those it has a few little hole um, holes there I guess maybe those are injection marks or something but uh, they don't have like that I don't know what you call it grid system same as this one so you got like a few different kinds of snakes so kind of interesting i mean there's a bunch of them here uh what do you get in total in that dollar 25 bag you've got let's see here one two three four five six seven so you got eight snakes for dollar 25 pretty cool um and i'm gonna have to see what i can do with them obviously they're gonna need like a paint job but some of them are pretty neat just the way they are they might just need a little bit of uh you know touch-ups here and there to make them look kind of cool but eight snakes for that and I mean honestly you could use those for like tentacles you could you know chop them up use them for pieces or whatever so pretty good find there and then for a dollar fifty don't know why this one was anymore same company here metal fang I'm, I'm not sure if you can find those uh, in your area obviously it's like probably just some you know like Chinese cheap toy maker like all these dollar type places have was another thing of spiders so these ones are a little bit bigger than the other bags, so that's kind of nice. Let me just open this up and get them out here so you can kind of get a good idea. But I thought these were pretty detailed, obviously, the paint job on it's pretty awful. But, you know, put that on a base and give it a paint job, and it's a pretty good little spider there. And the cool thing about this bag is, like, they're all a little bit different from each other. Not just the coloring, but the actual... Uh, sh shape or mold of them is a little bit different like this guy's sort of flat this one's raised up a little bit you know so really cool there are lots of different styles which would be nice but again I'd have to like totally uh, repaint these are really awful looking <laughs> for the most part and I mean there you go I mean pretty nice detailed not so great on the bottom but again you could fill all that in and get yourself a nice really cheap uh, spider mini so pretty cool right there this one the legs are all buggered so I probably have to like heat that one up I think it just got crushed in the packaging or whatever but not a big deal maybe I can just you know twist them out uh, anyway uh, when, you, when you base them you'd probably spread these out and make them look cool so 
and that's that i mean pretty neat all around there i think and definitely you know you can't buy minis of a spider uh for cheaper than those so dollar fifty you know for that many spiders i think you got another like eight spiders there so pretty neat and i'm going to be doing something probably pretty shortly here with these guys uh just because i like to get those sort of natural kind of creatures that are oversized uh as minis i just think they're really cool so that's everything i got for you this time around thanks again for watching if you have not subscribed yet please do feel free to thumbs up this video get it out there and share it and thank you very much and i will see you all later